On January 9th, 1926, ground was broken on Hollywood Boulevard in California. Grauman's Chinese theater cost over $2 million to build, and the exterior is meant to resemble a Chinese pagoda complete with two Ming Dynasty guardian lions guarding the entrance. Over the past century, several of your favorite films have premiered at the Chinese theater. Movies like Mary Poppins, The Jungle Book, and Star Wars. Now, according to the Chinese Zodiac, the groundbreaking took place during the Year of the Ox. So, 2021 is a somewhat important year for this sensational cinema. Hi, everybody. I'm Brandon Specht. I'm Marcy Renee. And we're here right outside our very own Chinese theater at Hollywood Studios right here in the Walt Disney World Resort. And we thought this would be the perfect place to talk about the Chinese New Year and the Year of the Ox. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Details. If you have a moment, why not click the like button and consider subscribing to Retro Spectrum. The celebration of the Chinese New Year will take place this year on Friday, February 12th. The ox is only the second sign in the Chinese zodiac right behind the rat. What was that? I am not a rat! People born in the year of the ox are diligent, dependable and filled with strength and determination. They love progress and can achieve their goals through persistence according to their ideals. As a result, people of the ox zodiac sign often enjoy great success. Hey, you know who that reminds me of? Walt Disney. I was gonna say me, but yeah, Walt Disney was born in the year of the ox. They also tend to get along with individuals who fall under the rat, monkey, and rooster signs according to the Chinese zodiac. They are faithful friends that make contributions to help the development of society. So next time you find yourself at Disney's Hollywood Studios, be sure to explore the courtyard in front of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway to see if you can find the names of anyone born in the year of the ox. For example, remember Captain Hook? No. Not that one, silly. I'm referring to actor Dustin Hoffman. His biggest Disney role was probably the con man and minor protagonist Mumbles from the 1990s film Dick Tracy. Speaking of Dick Tracy, did you know that Warren Beatty is an ox as well? But these two gentlemen aren't the only important names you'll find over at Disney. Angela Lansbury added her name and handprints in 1991. That was the same year that Disney released its 30th full-length animated feature film, Beauty and the Beast. Hey, she was Mrs. Potts in that movie. It's true, but I'll always remember her as Miss Eglantine Price in the live-action musical Bedknobs and Broomsticks. In 1992, Tony Curtis visited the Walt Disney World Resort and left his mark in cement. While I can't remember Curtis appearing in any Disney movies over the years, I can remember a visit to Disneyland in the 1962 film 40 Pounds of Trouble. Then, in 1999, one of my all-time favorite actors added his name and handprints to the collection found at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Michael J. Fox had already lent his voice to Disney's Homeward Bound The Incredible Journey and was getting ready to voice Milo, the main protagonist of Atlantis The Lost Empire. Of course, the list of celebrities born in the year of the ox doesn't end there. <laughs> Here are a few more you may have heard of. Hey, can we start with some voice actors? Okay, well, the legendary Paul Newman was born in the year of the ox. That's a great start. Hey, since we are celebrating the Chinese New Year, you got anyone from Mulan? Well, how 
how about George Takai and Eddie Murphy? That's strange, because I would have thought he was born in the year of the dragon. Guess not. Meg Ryan was also born in the year of the ox. You might remember her as the voice of Anastasia. Wait a minute, wait a minute. She is not a Disney princess, is she? Did Disney buy 20th Century Fox? Wow. I never put that together. Here is a non-Disney princess born in the year of the ox, Wonder Woman. More specifically, the actress who plays her, Gal Gadot. Add to that George Reeves, George Clooney, Jack Nicholson, and Jim Carrey, and we have enough characters to create our own comic book. But you know what? Enough of that other studio. Let's talk about the MCU. All right, Marcia Renee, who you got for me? Only a few. Jeff Bridges from Iron Man, Anthony Hopkins from Thor, and Lawrence Fishburne from Ant-Man. But since this is the year of the ox, can we refer to him as Cowboy Curtis? Please, we've had such a lovely time. Let's not spoil it. <laughs> okay, gag's over, that's it. Dang, I kind of wish that's who he was playing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Woo! Woo! Topic change. Did you know there are quite a few people born in the year of the ox out there in a galaxy far, far away? Like Forrest Whitaker, Woody Harrelson, Peter Cushing, and Billy D. Williams. You know, all this talking is really making me thirsty. I'm thinking we need to grab a drink. This episode of Details is brought to you by Blue Milk from Galaxy's Edge. Gee, I wonder what kind of cow that comes from. <laughs> Are a few more. Meryl Streep, Richard Gere, Kira Knightley, Shelley Duvall, Tyra Banks, Ricky Gervais, Neil Patrick Harris, Peter Jackson, Jessica Lange, James Gandolfini, Adrian Brody, Jack Lemon, Doris Roberts, Rock Hudson, Marlene Dietrich, Gary Cooper, Seth MacFarlane, and Jane Fonda. <gasps> okay, while well, Marcy Renee takes a breather, Here's a fun fact. Did you all know that Jane Fonda was born the same day that Walt Disney released Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Meaning that sneezy, grumpy, sleepy, happy, bashful, dopey, and Doc were all born in the year of the ox. Several talented musicians were born in the year of the ox as well, including Louis Armstrong, B.B. King, Bruno Mars, Bruce Springsteen, Lionel Richie, Boy George, Pharrell Williams, Sammy Davis Jr., and Billy Joel. There are also a number of world leaders we can add to this list as well, including Barack Obama, Colin Powell, Gerald Ford, Margaret Thatcher, and Princess Diana. Yet another non-Disney princess. Very true. There are even a few athletes born in the Year of the Ox as well. For example, Michael Phelps, Dan Marino, Richard Petty, Dennis Rodman, Jesse Owens, and Yogi Berra. Hey Marcy, wanna get a picnic basket? Didn't we agree you weren't gonna do that joke? We did. And then I did it anyways. Don't have a cow, mother. During 2021, people who fall under the ox sign are likely to encounter several challenges, but may also find a few new opportunities. Ox should avoid the numbers three and four and stay clear of the colors white and green. Oh, and try not to face Northwest. Well, I think that about covers it. Now we wanna hear from all of you. What are you looking forward to most in the year 2021? Are you planning a trip to the Disney parks? Are you excited about the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World? Tell us all about it in the comment section below. And I guess if you're still here, that means we did something right. So do us a favor and click the like button. And if you wanna see more of these details, please do us a favor and subscribe to Retro Spectrum.